Someone from the Capital L-O-V-E tribe requested this video like a couple of months ago, but I just hadn't gotten around to it. Just been busy doing stuff. But I want to talk to you all today about spirituality and children. I have two daughters, and so I want to share some of my experiences with teaching them about spirituality and how that's been working in parenthood as a mother. Welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love channel. I am Nicole. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. Welcome back to the Capital L-O-V-E tribe. I love you all so much. Thank you for being here with me today. I hope you are well. I'm so grateful to be here with you, to be on this journey with you. It's healing for you. It's healing for me. Thank you all so much. So let's talk about spirituality and being a parent, okay? Whew. So, I mean, I talked about this in another video. I can't remember which one, but it's on my channel. It's my teaching videos. And if I remember, I'll link it below. But anyway, um, I really started having a lot of awakenings when I had my first daughter. She's now eight years old. So she really probably brought on the first really big awakening that I had and so prior to having her I identified as being a Christian and you know I don't identify with any religion now I'm spiritual but I don't identify as having a religion but I still very much believe in Christ consciousness the way Jesus showed us how to do things being on that Jesus wavelength you know, working with Jesus. I work with Jesus all the time. I love Jesus. But I don't I just don't identify with religion because I just feel like it just keeps us separated. This is just my personal beliefs. You don't have to agree. I just feel like it keeps a lot of us separated and we need to move beyond that and just come together and be unified. Okay. So that's just my belief. But with raising my children, and of course I co-parent with my ex-husband, and he doesn't identify with having a religion as well. So it was able for us, it was able for us to work well with that, to get on the same page with that. But, you know, I do tell him like, hey, you know, like my children, you know, they've been to church and, you know, they, because my parents are Christian, my family is Christian. So they definitely are introduced to a lot of things in Christianity, but I do introduce them to the spiritual side as well, which is what my family does not really talk about. So I'm bringing in a different layer of all of this. So with my children, I'm very open and honest with them. I'm very open and honest. I speak to them almost as if, I don't want to say as if they are adults. I don't talk to them as if they are adults, but I'm very, the type of conversations that we have can be considered sometimes like upper level conversations that probably people wouldn't normally talk about with children. My two daughters, my oldest is eight and the youngest is six. Blair and Blake so they are very curious they're very curious and they want to know they're always asking a lot of questions so when they ask me questions I'm very honest about it so when they started to see me do different things like you know putting going to my altar the ancestor altar talking to the ancestors you know burning ancestor money doing things like that they started to ask me questions so I just started to tell them like I'm doing this because ancestors help us help us with this they give us guidance on this they help us you know do things that we can't always see that we always don't know you know and I started explaining to them like the things that we see on in the earth realm you know we're doing things we're working and doing the things we can but we can't always see everything so they're showing us from the spiritual side the spiritual realm they're guiding us and leading us on the path that we should be on because sometimes we need that help and support because we're not always able to see those things. I also talk to them about like their team. This is your spiritual team. Here are the people on your team guiding you. So then I go through like the spiritual team are your ancestors, spirit guides, angels, some archangels. And then I start to name the names and it's like, they're like a sponge just soaking it all up, 
asking follow-up questions just like you know a normal situation and we're just having a normal conversation about it the other thing is is that it's so much easier to talk to children about this because they're so much more connected children are just naturally way more higher vibrational than a lot of adults you know they're they have that innocence they're so connected to source they are just so high vibrational so they see and hear things that you know as adults we don't always we kind of lose that unless we're you know going back to that place a lot of times we were able to do that as children but we start to lose that so they started naming people when i started talking about ancestors they started naming people that had passed on and i was like well those are some ancestors that are working with you right now you know i'm like you're naming these names i'm not even bringing this up those are people helping you they're helping you do this they're helping you do that and so i started to show them how they are being guided so i'm going to give you an example that really made it real for my children and it really started to like i was like thank you god for this because i'm like i really want them to really understand this and really see how all these things work so i started to teach my daughters how to manifest and we were doing this through med meditation so i'm trying to get them to meditate because they have a lot of energy and sometimes i'm just like we got to bring it down a little bit we got to channel this energy we do things like going outside to get this energy out but some days when i'm just like look come on let's go meditate let's clear our head all of that so we were sitting down to meditate and I remember when I started meditating, a big, you know, I don't know what you want to say, a big incentive to get me to start meditating was Law of Attraction. That's what I really wanted to tap into because I was really, I was already manifesting, but I really wanted to kick it up a notch. So I started to tell them, all right, let's sit down, let's meditate, and let's do it. We're going to do, you know, we're going to practice manifesting Law of Attraction. So I started going over those concepts with them and I said, okay, I want you to set an intention, set an intention so you can manifest whatever it is you want. So they both like to play this uh, game called, well, this app called Roblox, okay? It's really huge to them. It's big. So their intention was to get more Roblox, which is, you know, the money on Roblox, the currency. So I was like, okay. You know whatever that's your intention great okay so we sat down we meditated i took them through the whole guided meditation which was good for me to practice as well and i was like okay you know doing the visualizations all of that so after it they felt good like an hour later or two hours maybe their dad facetimed them and was like i meant to tell you guys like you did something well the other day so go ahead and add like whatever amount of robux on my credit card and you get these robux they were just so ecstatic and so i was like hey blair and blake do you forget did you forget what we just did like a couple hours ago and they were like oh my god that's right like we met i was like mm -hmm. you see how you manifested that and so it was beautiful because it was unexpected and it was like just like that it was so quick their manifestation came through and I was like this I was so grateful to God because I was like they're gonna remember this like they are going to remember this and they're going to see how these things that we're learning and we're doing are actually happening and paying off but I also do things like I do affirmations with them and I start to share my story with them as well. Like I share with them, you know, they come home and like I said, the one thing about children with this, teaching them these things, teaching them about spirituality, all this stuff, you want to make sure your children feel safe, feel safe and feel loved and feel open to opening up to you. If children feel safe and they feel loved, they will open up to you like a flower, okay? Open up like a book. They will not hold back. They will tell you exactly how they feel. Do check-ins with your children. Do you feel safe? 
And they may say, well, I don't really, mom, dad, I don't really know what you mean by that. What do you mean? Explain to them how it mean, what it means, like what do you mean by when you ask them, do you feel safe? Do you feel comfortable? Do you feel like, you know, when you're at home, nothing's gonna happen to you? Do you feel good? Do you feel, you know, like warm and protected and like nothing bad is gonna happen? Like you're okay, like you could just feel good, you could just relax, you don't have to feel nervous. Ask them those things, you know, because a lot of times the issue is, especially when we were children too, we may not have always felt safe. And when those things are broken, okay, that's where some of the traumas, you know, when you go through that trauma, those things are broken. And it's not to say no one is just, you know, exempt from trauma, okay? You could do your best with anything. Things are going to happen. That's what happens here on Earth. This is what we come here to experience. But we don't want it to be, you know, a huge amount of trauma, of course. So I ask them, do they feel safe? Do they feel loved? Do they feel loved by you? You know, do you feel loved by me? I had those conversations with my children and they were like, yeah, we do feel like you love us, but we don't like it when you do this. And so they felt safe and open and honest to be honest with me. They didn't like when I did this. They didn't like when I did that. So we had to come to this place where I'm like, okay, yeah, that was tough for me to hear, but I had to own it. I had to say, well, you know what? You're right. I do do that. And, you know, I would say my part, they would say their part, but we would have these open, honest discussions. And honestly, a lot of people will probably look at it like, I'm not having no talk like that with a child. But I don't look at it like that because they're here to teach me just like I'm here to teach them. I make it very clear to them. Mommy is here to be your guide. I was chosen to be your earth guide. That's what I was chosen to do. You chose me to do this. I'm here to love you. I'm here to keep you safe, protect you, teach you, guide you. I'm not here to save you. I'm only here to save myself and I make this clear and again some people may say oh I'm not going to tell my child that I'm having these conversations now so you don't think I'm always here to support you guide you love you show you the way teach you I'm not here to save you you are here to save yourself just like I'm here to save myself I'm not here to save anyone else but me you are here to save yourself and I'm teaching them them those things now so they know so it's not going to be a codependent attachment they're going to live in their truth i'm living in my truth you're teaching me i'm teaching you i'm loving you you're loving me it's an equal balanced relationship just like with anything else an equal balanced relationship okay and so these are the kind of conversations and the things that i've been teaching my children are really showing them like you know, these are some of the things that I want you to know now. And these are the things that you could do to save yourself. And we talk about it. We do affirmations, you know, and I join in too because I tell them about my struggles with my confidence, not feeling good enough, not feeling worthy enough. You know, I don't go too deep because they're still really young. But as they get older, I am going to go deeper and tell them more about my experiences when the time is right and just kind of tell them like yeah i dealt with that you know especially when they come to me because now again they're back in school so they're coming to me telling me about certain situations and we talk about it we break we break it down we talk about it and i'm giving some of my experiences and telling them what i had to deal with and we just have a beautiful conversation and it's healing learning and growth for both of us for all of us rather because the three of us we talk about it together so you know make sure your children feel safe and loved because if they feel safe and loved they will tell you anything okay they will tell you whatever I have a lot of experience with children because I taught in the classroom I was a teacher I taught for 15 years I worked with children for a long time and, and then I had my own children so you know and I love children and I just feel like they can teach us so much if we're just willing to be open open ourselves up to learn you know and not look at it like this this person's five years old what can I learn from them no learn from anyone okay when you have when you build these relationships with your children and you're teaching them you want to teach them that I'm here to learn from you, you're here to learn from me, okay? 
This is mutual respect, mutual love. This is the, we're building a balanced relationship. We have a balanced relationship. And they may say, well, what is that? And then, you know, you could explain what that looks like, okay? And start from there and just have, you, you will notice how much more your children will be more open and transparent with you when you do that and you have to be transparent with them as well and give them some of your you know experiences when the time is right in the proper necessary you know confines of the situation so i hope this helps we'll be talking about it more let's talk about it more in the comments section if no one told you that they love you today i love you thank you all so much for being here with me today i'm proud of you for doing the work i'm proud of you for showing up for yourself please like the video please share the video subscribe join the capital love tribe comment below let me know how this resonated and i'll see you in the next video bye